In terms of my whole menu, I think my starter is one that I'm most confident in. It's really original, it's fun, and it would be a great way to start the banquet. So Tom's going all out to win the starter. Everything's been planned to the nth degree. It's haggis inside. Haggis inside. Yeah. Fantastic. But would it work for this banquet? I love haggis, and mm -hmm. you love haggis, and 99% and of the population of Scotland love haggis. But how do you think it's going to be received to uh, a banquet of homecoming troops which aren't just Scottish? I come to the conclusion the armed forces, they celebrate Burns Night in a big way. But the great thing about haggis is it involves whiskey. And you know the troops, I'm sure they like, <laughs> they, they like a wee dram, you know? Tom's combined the haggis with chicken mousse to make it light enough to be served as a starter. He's using peas and broad beans to add a splash of seasonal colour alongside traditional neeps or turnips. Now just a couple of light touches of sauce and a small helping of the haggis itself, crowned with finely shredded deep-fried potato and a raw turnip garnish. There we go. One. And a helping hand from Tristan. There we go, guys. Haggis, neeps and ties. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's no. beautiful. That's beautiful. What a really great nice. job. No one can question this taste of home. It's just a question of how well Tom's cooked it and how it stands up to the competition. I'm quietly confident with this dish that it should go quite high up. Do you know, I think this must be the prettiest, most well. refined haggis I think ever so. served up <laughs> to yeah. is. on a plate. Yes. Mm. Oh. No, yeah, that's like got that. to be the finest chips you've ever eaten. It's going very well so far. What does Oliver think? It's not the same as the one before. No. It's sticking to the roof of my mouth. This is a little glueier than, than last time, isn't it? Mm, no. I mean, one of the things we, we remarked on was, wasn't it, was the lightness of the original. Mm. Yeah. And he's lost that right lightness. Why have we got a claggy mess here? I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm upset here. I mean, you know, honestly, I mean, why is it, why is a chef who's cooked a dish perfectly well before, which we were all very excited about trying, turn up with this? I know you think I've been hard all day long here, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think it's right. I mean, I love this I'm, dish I'm before. I'm with you, Oliver, for you know. I mean, how dare he come along with a, right. a, a really inferior version? I mean, come on, Tom. Yeah. I mean, he is a great, great chef. What the hell are you doing? Oh dear, perhaps Tom should have told them to start with the whiskey. Yeah. The troops are lying up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy. Yeah. Trust is real. Yeah. Mm. That's lovely. Mmm. Oh, yeah. oh, yummy. The whiskey really works with the spices and the haggis. But whether you have it before or afterwards, that's. Uh, maybe we have to have another a couple more shots of that to sort of decide whether. <laughs> no sooner said than done. <laughs> I'm not having my nose. <laughs> 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 I think we'll have it before. I think we'll have another one just to definitely make sure. <laughs> this dish was absolutely one of the standout dishes the first time we had it, and I was confidently expecting the same thing. In fact, we had a really disappointing, unpleasant haggis to eat. So for that reason, I'm giving it a five. It was a claggy mess, so for that reason, I'm also giving it a five. Had we been faced with version one, I would have given it a nine. As it is, it's going to be a six and a half, and you've just got to imagine the half.